Hi, in this video series, we are going to learn how to use Excel for solving data envelopment analysis, that is DEA. So let us start with a small problem where we have different forms, A, B, C, D, E, one output and two inputs. This L stands for labor and K stands for capital. So we have this small example well, we will try some variants of DEA using Excel. The first thing you need to ensure is that your Excel has this solver add-in installed. If you look on the, this data ribbon on right hand side, we have solver installed. If it is not installed, you need to make sure that you install it first. You go to file, options, add-ins, Select analysis tool packs, click on go and select solver add in and click OK. So if it was not reflected here earlier, now it will be reflected. We are going to use this solver for setting the linear programming problem, which is helpful in solving the DEA, that is data envelopment analysis problem. OK, let us start with this example. So look at this technical efficiency in DEA. So uh, we start with output oriented technical efficiency, where technical efficiency is given by one by phi, and this phi is nothing but expansion factor. That is the exp that is the factor by which the output can be expanded to get the maximum output that is the linear programming will solve for us subject to the constraints lambda j y j greater than phi y zero lambdas are the weights y j are the individual outputs for the form phi is the expansion factor and y zero is the output of the form under consideration second constraint is lambda j x j less than equal to x0 that is lambda weights multiplied by xj's that is input of the form all the forms should be less than equal to x0 that is input of the form under consideration if we are using brs or bcc model then we would add a constraint sig lam sigma lambda j is equal to 1 that is sum of all the weights should be equal to 1 so let us first try this variant that is output oriented technical efficiency using the vrs vrs or the bcc model okay. so we have form a b c d e output l k that is labor and capital the first thing we need is lambda weights let us set the initial value of lambda weights to zero. I take all the values as zero. For solving this, we need sum of weights. Say sum in this cell, I would write the sum and select the array of lambda weights. Okay. Right now the sum is zero. We would set it to one later on. For output oriented efficiency, we need phi. Let us set the initial value of phi as 1 and technical efficiency is 1 by phi. So we write 1 and divided by select the cell in which we have values for phi. Okay. So these are the basic things which we required. Now what we need is we need to in, in, uh, we need to solve this in uh, uh, linear programming format in solver. So let us set. I'm copying the headings and pasting here. Okay. LHS that is left hand side, right hand side. We need left hand side and right hand side because if you look at the constraints, we have two sides. One is the left hand side and one is the right hand side. So all these notations which are given in the con constraints we will fill them in Excel. So for output left hand side. 
look at the first constraint lambda j y j on left hand side that is lambdas multiplied by output so this is the so it is output multiplied by lambda say for form a 10 into 0 plus 8 into 0 16 into 0 so for this what we do is use a command sum product select the array of output and select the array of lambda which will give you multiplication between this array and this array that is our array of output and array of lambda i fix the lambdas here by pressing f4 and press enter now when i drag it it will give you the lambdas the array of lambda will be fixed it will remain same so it would be labor into lambda and for k it would be capital into lambda so this is left hand side if you look at right hand side for output it is p into by zero that is form output of form under observation so right hand side is phi i select the cell with phi multiplied by let us say we want to look at form number seven so i select output for form number seven and for second constraint the right hand side is x0 that is inputs of the form under observation we are looking at form e so input is 9 for labor and 8 for capital so now what we have done is we have all the ingredients for solving the linear programming with help of solver which is essentially our dea so objective function if you look at this linear programming problem the objective function is to maximize phi so in the objective function we write maximize and select the cell phi by changing uh, make sure that you select maximize here by changing the variable cells the decision variables or the solution variables here are lambda and phi rest all is observed what linear programming will optimize for us is the lambda weights and the value of phi. It will help us find the maximum value of phi. So in by changing the variable cells, you have to select the array of lambdas and phi. Now add constraint. Okay, if you look at first constraint, it is for outputs. Left hand side greater than equal to right hand side. So we select left hand side of output sign as greater than equal to and constraint right hand side add second constraint is related with input that is some product of lambdas into input less than equal to inputs of the form under observation the sign is less than equal to so in constraint i select the array of inputs sign as less than equal to which is given by default and right hand side okay. add the third constraint is lambda is equal to one sigma lambda j's is equal to one that is sum of lambda weights is equal to one here in this cell we have written the sum of lambda weights select is equal to and one click on ok as we have selected all the constraint make unconstrained variables non-negative make sure you tick mark on this and select simplex lp and click on solve and the excel will solve the linear programming dea for you so we get the value of phi as 1.92 and technical efficiency of 5.51 so this means that the ex output can be expanded by 1.92 times or the form is working at an efficiency level of 0.52 if you want to compare it with other forms you can see the weights of form a b and c 
it is a convex combination of these three firms, but the highest weight, 0.6, is coming from form C. So for form E, we can refer to form C as a peer. This is the output oriented technical efficiency under the assumption of variable return to scale, that is VRS, which is also known as BCC model. Suppose in the same example, I want to solve for CRS, that is constant return to scale technology assumption, which is known as the CCR model. What we will do is we will go to the solver click on this constraint where sum is equal to one and delete it. Okay. In short, what we are going to do is we need to remove this sigma lambda j is equal to one constraint, which makes your model as CRS. So from the constraint, I have removed it and click on solve. Okay. Values are not much different, but uh, yeah, lambda weights are different. C is getting 0.64 as lambda weights, which is a peer for form E. But when you remove the lambda is equal to 1 or sum of weights is equal to 1 constraint, it becomes a CRS technology assumption. Okay. Now, suppose what we want to do is this was the output oriented, output oriented a DEA model. Suppose we want to use the same example and we want to do input oriented approach okay. let me copy this into a new sheet okay the same form but we want to solve it for input oriented approach okay so for input oriented approach technical efficiency is called as theta so objective function would be to minimize theta subject to constraint the first constraint related to output is sigma lambda y j greater than equal to y zero that is some product of lambdas into y is greater than the output of form under consideration lambda x j that is lambdas multiplied by inputs less than equal to theta x0. Now, if you see here, the difference is that x0, that is inputs are multiplied with theta. Okay? And sigma lambda j is equal to 1. This, is, this shows that the we are uh, computing DEA efficiency scores under VRS assumption. Apart from that, we assume that lambda j is, is greater than zero, that is non negative, and theta value is unrestricted. Okay. So we need weights. Let us set the initial weights to zero. Sum of weights is equal to sum, and array of select the array of lambda sum. Here we have theta and theta is same as technical efficiency. Let us set initial value of technical efficiency as one, which we need to minimize here. Now let us set the constraints here. So for con constraints, we need left hand side and right hand side. So I copy the headings first, output labor capital, left hand side, right hand side. Output is some product, of outputs and lambda weights. Now what we do is we press F4 and fix this dollar signs will appear. We fix the lambda array and we need to simply drag it. So for input L, it would become L, the array of labor into array of lambda. For capital, it would become array of capital into array of lambda. Now, right hand side, if you look at right hand side, it is Y0, that is output of form under observation. Say form num under observation is E, so output of form under observation is 7. Okay. And inputs, for inputs, it is theta x0, theta x0. 
so is equal to theta we select cell of theta i press f4 into x0 input of form under consideration 9 and i drag it so it would give you theta multiplied by capital of form e okay. now we have set everything now go to solver here we need to minimize theta so select the cell theta make sure you click on minimize because this is an input oriented approach by changing the cells lambda and theta that is lambda area of lambda comma theta add constraints now the constraints left hand side of output should be greater than equal to right hand side click on add left hand side of inputs should be less than equal to right hand side of the inputs add if you are going for vrs assumption sum of lambdas should be equal to one click on ok select simplex linear programming and solve so here the theta value is 0 0.65 that is the form is operating under 65 percent efficiency there is 35 percent inefficiency okay and the form comparison comparable form or the peer form is you can say form b okay. now if we want to work under crs assumption that is ccr model the only change we need to do is we need to remove this constraint of sum is equal to one okay. and click on solve so you would get a efficiency score of 0.51 this is technical efficiency under crs assumption okay. and uh, the comparable forms uh, here uh, sig sum of lambdas is equal to one constraint is removed the comparable form or the peer form here becomes form C. Okay. So this is data basic of data envelopment analysis. What we have done is output oriented and input oriented approach using VRS as well as CRS technology. In the forthcoming videos, what we would do is we would try to take a larger data set and we would try to automate it using macros and VBA commands.